All right, we just got back to camp. Got back to camp. Opened up the pool foot marker. And I'm looking at all the different tracks. We got turkey tracks, deer tracks, raccoon, and squirrel, and then the bear tracks, right? Where? I'm gonna show you real quick. Bear tracks. As we walk this way over here, That direction. There's the rest of them out there by the hole. By the hole. Oh wow! I see it now. Right there. Right there. This one's a real pretty one. Right there. Right here. It. Look it. I'm glad we weren't here. Oh, here's a nice one. Yeah. Oh, we should put my foot next to it. Oh, oh your hand. Next to my hand. There's my foot. Oh. There's a front paw. Oh. Cool. But it looks like it just kind of walked through right here. This is where I saw him walk behind the trailer before. Look at this one. Oh, that's a nice one. Look at that one. It's not real big. Wait, where's my camera? There's my camera. Put your hand by that. It's about cool. as big as my hand, so he's, you know, okay. I'm Oh, that's really cool. You can tell where he came in from. Look at this pad in the back. This is his back pad. That's his front. I don't know. That's not very big. This back pad. I think that's a black bear. That's a heel. This is the toe pad. That's not. But you can see it, its little claws. Look at that. Here, put your hammock down. Take a picture. Yeah, not too. So this is what we do when we come out here to our off-grid property. Right now, Harper is sleeping. She's taking a nap. So this is what life would be like if we lived out here all the time. Kicking back in a hammock. Sitting back, not doing anything. We'd have to change her name for sure. What would we change it to? It would be Lazy's Off-Grid. <laughs> <laughs> the lazy one. So we just got here. I see everything is covered in pine pollen, so I'm going to have work to do. But we're going to paint the metal roofing on that table. It's a beautiful sunny day. We're having a heat wave in the Pacific Northwest that is record. It's never been this hot for this long. Right now it's fire season, so there's a lot of fires around us. What's up here? I'm gonna paint these pieces of metal before Harper wakes up because they're sharp and they've been outside since we went back home so I just need to dust them off and then I'm gonna paint them white and we'll see what they look like because the goal this weekend is to get the ceiling up. The weather is supposed to cool off by like maybe five degrees so we're hoping that we can get some wallboard milled with the Alaskan chainsaw mill We'll have to wait and see if it really does cool off and if we can make that happen so we don't overheat our saw. Stay tuned. This right here is called a Mini-Me Crustal Log Stove. So it's about an eight hour burn because we've got this uh, shaft here that's uh, set up for an eight hour burn. If we were to get it a little bit longer, it'd be a 12 hour burn. But this is the most efficient stove that we could find. And what it is, is the, uh, you just drop the Presto Log in top of some wood shavings light it and this is your burn area is right here within these stones and so that's why you can get such an efficient burn and we're gonna have dusty from 509 stoves come out and actually detail the stove we have, uh, logs stored right underneath and probably you could get a 
probably, I don't know, about a week's worth of uh, logs in there. Cause you figure we'll only be burning maybe two to three logs a night to get an eight hour burn going. So, yeah. So, okay. uh, this is going to be pretty cool checking this out and see how it works. Uh, it's My plumb bob reads that uh, we got lucky and we got this centered first time around. Look at that. And it's right center in this cell in between the beams. The uh, rafters of our big old romper room. Ramper room. So that's where I'm going to leave it. And I'm going to cut the hole and get the pipe installed. I'm going to put pieces. So I'm splitting them in half to get a center. Two foot right there. Yeah, this paint's still kind of soft. But right dead center. Is. Honey, there's no internet here right now. So you have to just play a game that's already on your tablet. The wall's right here. Or go back and play with your giraffe and your zoo. 21 and, and three paint. quarter. There's 21 and three, or 20, or 20 and three quarter right there. That's where we need it. That's the center of the stove pipe. So you drilled a hole through the... All this is is we're just gonna cut a five and three quarter circle. So I'm gonna take a string on a pencil and just five and three quarter. That's all. I could use a stick, flat piece of wood, you know, the hole at this end, hole at this end, screw. That's best because it doesn't stretch. So you found this piece of cardboard in the cabin? Yeah. Yeah, that's gonna work for a guide is what it is for a deal. So happens. You don't need all that. Just so happens, I found a square hole for a square pencil. Probably. <laughs> I just have to cut on the outside. Look at that. Okay. Much better. Much better. What? <laughs> I thought that this broke, it just fell out. I didn't have it set in there deep enough. So that's all right, I still have one metal blade left. You're funny. Uh, anyway, I'll show you how I pilot my hole for my saw blade. I take a really small bit and do probably three little drills, and that makes it elongated enough to where my blade will fit in there and cut. Instead of that big old gaping hole where you got a chance to go over the line.
Where would I be without my uh, pocket pliers? I love these things. I've been carrying pocket pliers for since I was 16. Wow. No, they weren't even made then. <laughs> <laughs> no, I, I would have been carrying them at 16, but that's when I started building things. But uh, whenever they were first made, you gotta check my history on that. Um, that's when I started carrying them. <laughs> Really good idea. You're, You're gonna have to edit that out. No way. <laughs> <laughs> but I was six. I want one of Well, hello. Well, hello there, baby. Let me try. Goodbye. Ah, I was just coming through. Let me okay, we're starting to put the pieces together, and we're testing to see. It's even, even Steven, right down the center. You have two inches all the way around for combustibles. Do you want to send it down just to test it? Uh, just... No, we got to start gluing things together. We know that's how it works now. We just got to get a few more lanes. Okay. That's so it doesn't uh, seize up. It always come off easy. What do you mean seize up? Well, rust together. Oh, that's what the, yeah, that's it's for? Like an anti seize, they call it. <laughs> or an anti ruster? Yeah. No easy way. playing Pippa? Yes. So I don't even have to add background music because I hear your music. Oh wow, that's like a perfect fit already. It just sat on it, perfect. That's cool. That worked out great. Yeah, we're a, we're a good, probably 20 inches away from the window, which is good. We almost did a really bad thing. No, not really. You caught it way ahead of time. We were all excited that we got the pipe figured out. And then uh, gluing everything and realized we didn't put the roof on yet. The ceiling. Didn't put, put the it. ceiling on oh, no. yet. Uh, so we're going to put the ceiling on next. Yeah. And then we'll run the pipe through. Yeah. centered. <laughs> Thank you. 
we're in the lines. Okay. okay. Before I seal this all down with uh, my white snow seal roof patch, that's how I put these things down. Um, this is the old one for the caribou stove that we're probably not going to use. I've got insulation filling that now. But uh, I use Dawn dish soap and I'll coat this outside of this uh, pipe, insulated pipe, so the boot slides around real easy. And uh, I already marked my line for, see if I can pick this up a little bit. Oh, I don't want to move it. Otherwise I'll lose my, my alignment here that I already adjusted for. There we go. Okay. So, I'll just pick it up like so and just spread underneath as I go and seal it and push it down. But this stuff, oh boy, really thick. This is really starting to get some age to it. Gosh, the flies are insane. So, we have mosquito season here and we have fly season. Got my guideline right there that I'm gonna follow. Get this down. Just like so. Then you'll put another coat on top. <laughs> Got all kinds of things hooking to me. Go get right outside that line there. get any water blowing in here it's just gonna run off and I really don't think you're gonna have any problem with water coming in. unless it's a sideways rain yeah it's got to be blowing pretty hard because as you can see we are under an RV carport that we put up on property to protect the toy hauler because we anticipate being in here through the winter we don't want all that snow on the roof Right, it's a 612 pitch, so that'll shed the snow pretty good. push it in there and it just creates a suction. This is all set. I do not just want it. Get a little bit more downward pressure. Then I can hold that other deal down. This like isn't touching the goo. Once I get this goop off on the top side, is now what you do is you paint it in. And you seal any cracks. Do you see it? And you always taper it out, feather it out to where no pockets. Look for air bubbles and all that. So do you have to do more than one coat? Yes, I usually go to Okay, that makes sense. Yeah, because each time it's just like drywall, doing mud, anything like this, you just feather it out. Each time it covers more, widens. See, I guess you could screw this down, but I don't want any extra holes. Do we have a Ziploc I can put this bag in? Mm-hmm. Because that's what I'll do next, and then I'll go some. Do you here? If you put some goo on it, I'll get this one little hole. It's right hole. here. Yeah. Good. 
Good job, honey. Okay, it's at the end of day one. Being up here, this is what we've got accomplished today. I think we did pretty good. So we got the ceiling painted. We got the wood stove in place. This is the mini me. And we'll have Dustin from 509 Stoves come and give explanation of the details because it's a pretty impressive stove. We are very happy with it. This looks really good, you guys. What do you think? What do you What do you think about using uh, reclaimed metal roofing to be the ceiling of the ramper room? Like, drop a comment. Tell me what you think. 